Today I'm over the dark side in Sam Sum Suki. So welcome back to the channel and the first thing I want to say is the dark side is definitely taking off. It just seems to be growing and growing and growing. I think this is going to be the, the next big thing over here. It could take three years, four years, but they're building and building and building and building. And we've come to this place now where it's 219 baht or 300 and something baht to get the upgrade. So we'll probably get the upgrade. Um, but if you want to look around by here, right, you've got a, a Korean barbecue. It's called a Coop Pig. Uh, where we're going to go now is the Mamazam Suki. So anyway, let's go inside and have a look. So when I said we were going to go inside, right, she said it was a two hour wait. I said, I can't be right. So I just presented this ticket for her, right? And they have said, I'll wait for this. It is a four hour wait. Um, unbelievable. She's real happy. I've never, whenever I've come in the world, I had to wait for four hours. Uh, but there's a queue outside and the queue is, well, I'll show you the queue now. Uh, this is a queue. Look at it, absolutely ridiculous. And the Thai's quite happy to wait. She ain't. Um, I don't know what to say. You can't book, you just gotta come and queue up. But there's no way am I waiting four hours for food. And next door is the pig, cute pig, Korean. And I'll show you the queue outside here now, right? Who the hell is gonna queue like this? So, I don't know where we're gonna go. But we'll find somewhere, and whenever we go, I'll see you there. So there was no way was we waiting a four hour wait. And I hope the audio is better. I'm actually just using the GoPro audio. We've come to the Ninja on, I think this is Third Road. Do you know? We've come so far up north, I'm not even sure where I am. But I can show you the, uh, the outside, and it's definitely the the ninja because of the sign in. It's a barbecue buffet potato ninja. So to be fair, it's Sabbath night. Uh, there's not many people here, mind. Um, so that's not a good sign. But we'll definitely go in and we'll have a look. And I definitely give you um, my thoughts on it. And if anybody can get in that place that I was gonna film, can you put it in the comments below? Because I'd like to know, but if the ties are prepared to wait four hours then our food has got to be pretty special. Um, she just said to me now that it's the number one bukata in the whole of Thailand. And that's why it's there, but I don't know, I have no idea. So, like I said, drop it in the comments below. I've been going, and let's go and have a look at this one. So everybody just walked in, said what I said to you. Uh, she already ordered, she's already sitting down. So we definitely stay in here. And I did say, don't want to go off the bike. I said, oh, I'm sure I've been here before. She said, oh, you have a lady? I said, yeah, I come a lady. And then I had a punch in the head. So not only have I got a bad finger, a bad, bad head, and she tried to frighten me today with spices. Uh, she gave me a punch in the head for good measure. So let's go have a little look, is there? And let's go and see what's here. And there don't seem to be a lot of food yet. I hope I'm wrong. I really hope that this turns out to be a good place to go. So the buffet in here is 259. So it looks like my videos now, are, I'm a specialist in uh, Mukatao. Uh, what I do like, as you can see by here, is everything is under um, cover. It's all out there for the flies and all that. And they've also got a section for uh, falang food, if that's what you want to call it. Um, that's what I call it as well now, falang food. Even though it's my food. Um, leftovers food will be charged at 50 baht per 100 gram. Uh, that's the norm in Thailand. Um, she's got a Lord of Thrones. So we'll have a look. 
but come on, for two point nine, right? Uh, I think that's a bargain. But I really want to go to the other place. Um, can I give him my honest opinion so far? Uh, is it the best one I've been to? I'd say no. Is it the best? Um, no, is it the best um, quality of food? I don't know. I'll have to let you know later on. But at the end of the day, 259 is about five pounds or six bucks or whatever it is in the US. And what can you get for that? So it is what it is. So let's enjoy. I think we're both disappointed that we didn't get in the other one. And that's the honest truth. What I will say, you know, being 259, like I said before, um, if you had a, just a plate of uh, shrimps, as you can see by here, and you took eight uh, crab that you can also see by here, uh, you, you're making your money back straight away. Because I bought eight of those crabs from Black Club Market that day, cost me eight was 200 baht, and it was 100 baht. It was either 100 or 200 baht. Uh, I know a bowl, a plate full of shrimp is 160 baht in the market alone. So at the end of the day, you know, it's not a bad price. It is out the way if you're on holidays. Uh, anybody that has ever been here before, who wants to know about these Thai girls, what are you doing for an app? Uh, I tell her, right, I'll stop any hour, right? When I got the mall, like, I said, oh, I've been here before. She said, you have a lady? I said, yeah, I come the lady. So anyway, after the pension here, right? Mm -hmm. uh, which I thought was quite funny. Uh, uh, this is the call, by the way, 60 baht. I, I get uh, some chickens, these, right? Chickens. All right. Oh, they are nice, man. I says, well, um, chillak. Uh, chillak means darling or or love or whatever it is. I said, where's the play? The words were, why I have to tell you? You've come here before, you've come a lady here. Why I have to help you? So, that's what they like. I know I'm gonna bore you to tears on this video about morning, but I really wanted to go to that other place. Okay. But what I like about Pattaya and Thailand in general, opposed to the UK or I can't speak for other countries, is if you get disappointed in one place, you can move on quite quickly and find another place that's just as good. Or even better, or you can find somewhere. Back home, you would you would go somewhere, be disappointed, couldn't get in. And then you spend all night just arguing again about there's nowhere to go. So I'm gonna tuck into my chickens. As always. And she's gonna tuck in to the rest of it, no doubt. So let's do it a bit. So there's mine done. Same as the last video. Um she said a bad point for us now. She said <laughs> it's only two hundred and um 50 odd baht, whatever it is, each. She said most places are charge this money. Don't include seafood, it don't include um, prawns and crabs and stuff. But this one does. And for a rule of thumb for me is always if the place is full of ties, then it's a good place to come. Uh, we come to this place because we just drove past and we we bought. Sorry, we come in because of the disappointment of the last one. So we couldn't get in. So they'll be still waiting for uh, three and a half hours. Uh, for the money, it's definitely worth it. So she put the crabs there, the, them two crabs there, look. And I says, well, how are we going to put them on the, the barbecue? Oh no, I eat them raw. Well, uh, I will never eat a raw crab. Ever. No matter what you lot want to be to do, you won't be to do a walk around. 
it's all like chat. And the food is actually good quality. And what I also like as well, we ought to pay 60 baht. Was you have a proper cork. Uh, I'm not a lover of the ones where you just fill up, fill up, fill up the refills. So, I'm gonna carry on with my food. We'll have a chat later. I just asked her now, I said, what do we need a barbecue? Yeah. Okay or not? She had the two by nine shirt is uh, it's a good barbecue. Because I always say it, you can't compare a two five nine with a three nine nine, same as a breakfast. You can't compare a ninety-nine bar breakfast to a two hundred bar breakfast. So then she turns on and says, Oh wait. She said, do you know me? What? She said, do you know me? I said, what do you ask? I said, do you love me? She said, I'm not saying. I want you to know you love me or not. She said, if you love me, peel all these. Wait for it. Wait, wait, wait. Right? Then, I'm in. Right? So, if I love her, Right? She what? So, the bell of that, I guess, right? I just got it to side, right? I hate this, but... Really bad, right? 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 She asked me, the bell of what? Alright. Not a million years. So, watch where she's probably with. Oh my God, what you know is. Right? So, watch where she's probably with me now, right? From the last time I got a new hotel, right? You've got the prawn, right? You've got the head, and you squeeze them off. Put them oh, juicy oh. Right. So you got that, right? Just crunch it You got that again. Squeeze it. So you got that little bit there. So what you do is you open the legs up, right? Same as everything else you can say, yeah? You rip the legs open, right? Um, you, what you end up with? Oh my god. Right? I tell you what I've ended up with. Now, I can't show on the camera. I've ended up with that. A little bit. Jump in, jump in there, right? And where do you see how much of a mess I just made of it all? She's taking the plates away. Good night, mate. I was actually enjoying the food, but they just replaced the, the charcoal and the smoke has gone through the food and everything just tastes like um, smoky, just all of it. There's not much left of the brunch. Ah. She says, can't eat any more. She said, we better sleep while you're not eating any more. Because after that charcoal's been on end, bottle. Before that, it's really nice, honestly. It's generally nice. Mm -hmm. Take a bit of soup now, look. Mm -hmm. I don't want anything. It's a little bit mm -hmm. As you can see, Blair, They've just changed the the pan a bit. Um, I'm really, really enjoying the food. And the food's nicer. Yeah. I'm not going to say the food's not nicer. Yeah. The food's real nicer. Yeah. Uh, but they changed the coals, and the whole food tastes out of coal. It was vile. Like, the taste is going down my throat now. 
is absolutely terrible. Uh, she carried on eating for about 10 minutes. She looked at me, she said, you okay? I said, you seriously can't taste that the food is that bad? She said, yes, it's no good. First thing she ever listened to me. So, oh, yes. Yeah, we have one. So then, we'll have another crack now with the new stuff. But there's no way I don't care what the fight was. Was I eating any more of that with our pan? Right, we're back in action, right? So she was numbing me with that bit of liver. Okay. And we're at the stage where John Candy was uh, in the great outdoors, right? See when he had that big steak and the guy said, there's nothing left on air apart from fat and grizzle. But that's the stage you'll be at. There's a plate of food there, look, as you can see there, right? And Pella was just looking at it in disbelief because she said to me there, why can't you eat? I said, I am eating. I went, I went normal, but I can't eat the same as you. So the seafood's gone, that's gone, that's done. Um, but this bowl of beer, honestly, it's just, it's can't eat it, man. I can't. I can't just speak. I can't eat for the sake of it. I think we have to pay them for the fine. For the first time, I think we can be paying the leftovers fine. So I think this is either liver or chicken heart. Or just the same after my tags. Yeah, we must go These burger chips got a corp. I've gone to bed. I've been up his body. I'm going to give one last attempt to try and eat this. And then I come back and say goodbye. But from now on, it's really not happy. Pleasant, enjoyable. Right. Right to left. We got that in this. So we waited there two and a half hours. Four hours. How can anybody sit outside a restaurant for four hours? That's ludicrous. Ludicrous. Just count it up, right? Oh, look at this. 18 plates, right? And we can order 17 of them. So for the first time, Definitely on a fine, because not even she can eat it. But we got the ice cream. So we just had the bill. 603 baht. Even though we left the plate of um, chicken and pork, we didn't charge us 50 baht. Should have, mind, because we didn't eat it all. But it was 603 baht, mind. For two people, I think it's a bargain. I really, really do think it's a bargain. Um, I used to hate these places. And now I just embrace them. I don't eat much, but I just, it is what it is. And there's not a lot to do in the nights. You don't go out uh, outside your condo. It's just bars, drinking and eating. That's all it is. Or you can stay in, bored, watching Netflix, and you can do that back home. So yeah, we failed. And to be fair, it's all right. She's only trying to look after me. Ooh. Always making price you, mate. Right. I hope this is a lesson, right? If anyone can watch it. Nothing. Got the plan in Matea. And neither should it. Because 
Then they went to Panya and it'd be boring and the same as back home. And that's why I love Patia. And that's why I live here. Because nothing goes to plan. It's always carnage, right? Yeah. But it's always fun. I love it. So until the next video, who knows where? I'll see you again. So bye. Bye for now.